So there are four teams. We won seven. The JLP won seven. The seven that we won include KSA MC, the Kingston and St. Andrew, which is the prize. You heard there from uh, Golden saying the PNP has won seven parishes in the just concluded parish council elections. And the seven day name are the KSA MC, St. Catherine, Manchester, Westmoreland, Hanover, St. Mary, and Portmore. PNP, I have noticed, have tried to include the Portmore municipality. In other words, they have turned the Portmore municipality into a, a parish council. <laughs> what they want to do is to double count. Yes. So they want to count St. Catherine as a victory and then count Portmore as a victory. If you take out Portmore out of St. Catherine, the Jamaica Labour Party would have won St. Catherine. Hello, I'm Dudley Thompson and welcome again to WDT Media TV. Welcome back to WDT Media TV. I'm Dudley Thompson. The just concluded elections were held in Jamaica on February 29 is still a matter of contention. A cloud of doubt and mystery surrounding which party came out on top at the polls. As you heard earlier, both PNP and JLP are claiming a victory in that elections. And we spoke with both sides earlier and also we went on a fact-finding mission. We directly contacted the EOJ to get some clarity as what transpired as to why both PNP and JLP are claiming that they are victorious in that elections. You heard the different arguments as to the voting, but we did our, our digging. And I said to you earlier, we contacted the Jamaica's EOJ to get some clarity on what transpired. We're here not to take sides, not to give you any party perspective, but we try to give you the facts and you decide as to who is coming straight to Jamaican people or who is trying to deceive the Jamaican people. As we present to you some facts that we gathered from the literal office of Jamaica, the EOJ, not from PNP, not JLP, but EOJ. Here are what we have found so far. We won seven, the JLP won seven. The seven that we won include KSA MC, the Kingston and St. Andrew, which is the prize. You heard there from uh, Golden saying the PNP has won seven parishes in the just concluded parish council elections. You heard from uh, Golden saying the PNP won seven and the JLP won seven. But according to this release from the EOJ, and it says here, the Jamaica Labour Party candidates have won the majority of the seats in seven parishes while the PNP has won five. But here Mark Golden saying the PNP won seven and the JLP won seven. And Mark Golden is claiming that the PNP has won KSMC. And you can see there in the very last column, you can see there it's saying Kingston St. Andrew, JLP 20, PNP 20, of the all 40 divisions that meaning 20 all is a tie so look again the very last column kingston st andrew glp 20 pnp 20 of the fourth divisions that means a three all in kingston and 17 all in st andrew so it's 20 all across the board so the pnp is claiming a victory while eoj is saying this one is a tie. Wow. We won the city municipality of Portmore. You heard Mark Golden saying that the PNP won the Portmore municipality. But looking at the EOJ 
document here. Portmore is not, is not listed as an electoral division. Only the 14 parishes. So I put this question to some JLP and PNP affiliates. I asked them about the exact same question. I asked them the JLP. Does the Portmore votes and, and the votes in the rest of St. Catherine, are they counted separately or are they counted together? Person in the PNP said that the votes are counted separately. I put the exact same question to JLP affiliates and they said the votes are counted together. Like, wow, the same question and totally two different answers. What's my solution? What I did, I personally, I mean personally, no third party now, I personally called the EOJ directly and asked them the exact same question and their answer was the votes in Portmore and the votes in St. Catherine are counted together. Right? The votes in Portmore and the vote in the rest of St. Catherine are counted together. That's why Portmore is not listed as a separate division from St. Catherine. They are counted together. It's not my opinion, not my view, not my thoughts coming from the directly from the EOJ in Jamaica. What they want to do is to double count. So they want to count St. Catherine as a victory and then count Portmore as a victory. If you take out Portmore out of St. Catherine, the Jamaica Labour Party would have won St. Catherine. Our aim is to set the record straight and present the facts to you. You heard, you heard um, the Prime Minister saying that if you separate the Portmore votes from the rest of St. Catherine, the JLP would have won St. Catherine. Is that true or lie? Let's now find out for ourselves. We are still on the EOJ release. And you can see here. Yes, still on the EOJ release. Again, you can see here. All right, see it? All right, coming straight from the EOJ. This is not something that I made up. Coming from the EOJ. Let's now go now to St. Catherine and Portmore. The two that we are talking about right now. All right, here now. St. Catherine. All right. JLP has won 19 seats in St. Catherine. And the PNP has won 22. And these are counted together. In St. Catherine. All right. Portmore now. The JLP won a mere three seats in Portmore. And the PNP won nine. Let's now do the math. If you separate the Portmore votes for the rest of St. Catherine, who would win St. Catherine? Let's do the math. So 9 from 22, there are 13, am I correct? Come ahead with the match now. Subtract 9 from 22. Give me 13, right? Okay. And take away 3 from 19. If you're 16. So that would mean the JLP will get 16 seats in St. Catherine and the PNP 13 if you subtract the Portmore vote. Am I correct? Obviously, we're not taking sides. So, you know the facts as we get them. Not here to take no side. Just simple as that. In other words, they have turned the Portmore municipality into a parish council. <laughs> release from the EOJ and the EOJ is the Electoral Office of Jamaica at 7 Duke Street and here are their numbers. You can call them to verify the contents of this letter. Alright, so this number you can call them to verify what I'm saying. It's not my opinion. It's just facts from the EOJ release and it says here 
It was released on February, February 29, 2024. All right. Final count completed for all electoral divisions. And it's in Kingston, Jamaica. The final count of ballots for all electoral divisions for local government elections was completed on Thursday, February 29. That include all the ballots for the mayoral elections and the municipality of Portmore. All right? With all ballots counted, the results indicate that, listen carefully, the Jamaica Labour Party, the JLP, candidates have won the majority of the seats in seven parishes, while the People's National Party, the PNP, has won five. So again, for clarity, the JLP candidates have won the majority of the seats in seven parishes, while the PNP has won five. Kingston and St. Andrew ended in a tie with the PNP and the JLP winning 20 seats each. The PNP won the majority of the divisions and the position of mayor of the municipality of Portmore. So now, this table will show a summary of the event. Here now is the parishes, the JLP column and the PNP column and the total divisions in the total electoral divisions. So you can see St. Thomas, they won six. No, the JLP won six in St. Thomas and the PNP won four out of ten divisions. Portland, the JLP won seven, the PNP won two. So in St. Mary, the JLP won six, PNP won seven. St. Anne, the JLP won eleven, the PNP won five. Shilani, the JLP won six, the PNP won three. St. James, JLP 11, PNP 6. In Hanover, it's a PNP clean sweep. None for the JLP and all C's go to PNP 7. Westmoreland, the JLP won 3, 11 for the PNP. St. Elizabeth, the PN JLP won 9, PNP won 6. Manchester, the PNP... Is it Manchester? P yeah, Manchester, the PNP won 3. JLP, no, the P, JLP won 3, I beg your pardon. PNP won 12. In Clarendon, the JLP won 12. PNP won 10. St. Catherine, the JLP won 19. PNP 22. And you can see there, KSAMC, Kingston and St. Andrew, it's a tie. The PNP won 20. JLP won 20. Out of the four divisions. If you, can look, if you can look here carefully, there is no mention of Portmore separately. And this part is very important. Why? Because today at 345, I personally called the EOJ office and asked this question. Say for clarity. Let me understand for clarity. The St. Catherine Division, the vote in St. Catherine and Portmore, does it count separately? Does the votes in Portmore are count separate from the rest of St. Catherine? And they said emphatically no. The Portmore votes and the rest of St. Catherine are counted together. Right? This came to me from the EOJ office a short while ago. That's why I'm just doing, doing this video. Because I want a clarity on this aspect before I go public. So again, for clarity, the St. Catherine votes, the Portmore votes actually, and the rest of St. Catherine count as one. So there's no separate Portmore votes from the rest of St. Catherine votes. That's my opinion. It was told to me by the EOJ today that Portmore and St. Catherine votes count as one. Why repeating this so often? For emphasis. 
and to get the message across from the EOJ. Not me, you know, that, that my views is from EOJ office that they said capturing votes, that put more votes, and the votes in the rest of St. Catherine count as one as St. Catherine. There's no Port Moore vote and no St. Catherine vote. No St. Catherine that includes the vote in Port Moore. That's a point we need to understand. It's not my view, not me saying this. It was told to me by the EOJ office a short while ago. So hope that clarifies some of the myth now going around. And why I made the call? Because when I spoke to um, PNP officials, I was told that Portmore and St. Catherine count separate. When I spoke to JLP officials, I heard that PNP, I heard that um, Portmore votes and St. Catherine is count as one. So the two different parties give me two different, two, 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 two complete opposite statements. So that's why I said, to get the real answer, I have to call the EOG. And I did that and get the correct answer. St. Catherine votes and Portmore votes count as one. Not separate, as one. It's not my opinion. It's facts from EOG. All right? Clarity. Another clarity I heard Mr. Golden saying the PNP won KSAMC. As you can see here on the table, it says there's 40 divisions in KSAC or KSAMC, 40. The PNP won 20, the JLP won 20. That means 20 and 20 is a tie. But I heard Mr. Golden saying the PNP has won, has won the carpet area. But the fact is, the PNP won the popular vote. That division is a tie, but the PNP won the popular vote, meaning they have more voters in that division than the JLP. And based on that, they are allowed to let the mayor of KSMC because they won the popular vote. They did not want K, they did not want the division. They won the popular vote. But, but the division is a tie. 20 for the JLP, 20 for the PNP. So don't confuse winning the popular vote with winning the division. It's two different things. So the PNP did not win KSMC. It's a tie. So let's separate facts from fiction. This is not my view. It's coming from the official release from the EOJ. So it's not, it's not me saying it. It's EOJ saying it, not me. So get that part clear. There you have it, representing you on bias. Findings here from the EOJ. We're here not to push any party agenda, but to present to you our findings. And you can decide which party is, is really the, the, um, the victor and who is trying to deceive the Jamaican people as we present to you the facts from the EOJ. All right, so I'm Dudley Thompson. And again, like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, thanks for watching.